Let's take a look at what's new in version 2.12 of H2R graphics. The first thing to mention here is there's now a Linux build. So just let me know in email if you have any issues or anything like that. Otherwise, you can download it now, try it out in the beta form and make sure it works as you would expect it to work. I sure hope that it does. Other than that, we have lots of features in the app itself, of course. So the first one to mention is this new open on output option here. And when you click on that, you can see a list of the displays connected to the device. And then whenever you want to show it on display, for example, right now I'm showing you display two, I can click on that and a very bright screen comes up. But now I have my graphics output full screen on this window. I'll always just close that or move it out of the way because I'll need that later. Um, but that's how you open up a output on a specific monitor connected to your computer. Pretty cool. Next up, we'll jump into the rundown and you can see here we have a graphic, which is the QR code graphic, a new pro graphic in H2R graphics. So I can uh, show and hide that QR code as you can see here. I can also jump in and edit it and decide what URL the person is going to go to when they scan the code. And also I can add a little message underneath just so they know where they're going. For example, you can write something like scan uh, me, or you can tell them what URL they're going to, which is a little bit more helpful if they don't have a second device that can scan the QR code. Another cool feature for pro users is a new feature called link to graphics. So I'm just gonna show you, I have a few graphics here. I have this balloons celebration. I have an image, which is just a PNG image of this lower third background. And then I have this text here, which is just a typical lower third graphic with some text. But let's say I wanna show all three of these at the same time. So I'll let the image name here, my background image, it can be um, the main graphic that I want to always show and hide. And then I'm going to jump into my lower third down to the trigger section, and then I'm gonna go into this link to graphic section, and I'm gonna say, I wanna link this lower third to my image. And you'll see here some stuff pops up. We have a color has been assigned to the main graphic, and then another similar color that looks a little bit different here has been added to the, um, the smaller graphic below. And in fact, if I edit this celebration balloons, link to the same uh, image graphic, you can see here now that I have the main graphic with the colored in square, and then I have the other two graphics with the arrow inside the square. That means that whenever I click on this image, all three of those will come on air at the same time, and then things will happen, and then I can take them all off air at the same time as well, which is quite nice. And a little additional feature there, if you edit this, um, I'll just jump into my lower third here, and I can change the linked delay. So I could set this to one, second, which would be a thousand milliseconds. And now whenever I show these, you'll notice that the image and the balloons happen at the same time. And then the lower third waits one second before it comes on air. So there we go, one second, and now I can see the text. And the same applies to taking it off air again, the image and the balloons will disappear, and then the text will disappear as well. You're also looking at a new transition mode there called blur and fade. So if I can show the image again, you can see that the image now blurs and fades into position and blurs and fades out again. Nice new transition in H2R graphics. I have one score graphic on my rundown here. And if I head over to the score tab, you can see there's a new option now, instead of going up one score at a time, you can now jump in and write whatever you want there. So for example, that team just got 10 points for some reason. This team just got five points for some reason. You can jump in there, edit like that, or you can click inside here and use the up or down arrows to quickly go through numbers like that. A little bit easier to use the score tab now. Another new addition for pro users is the ability to have multiple lists now. So typically you would only have one list before, but now you can have as many lists as you want actually, if you're a pro user and you can add all those lists in here, you can change what's in each box, you can import CSV to each individual list. And over on the graphics area, you can use the information from each of these in a graphic. So for example, if I head over to my rundown, and I show my lower third graphic here, you can see John Barker two is coming up. And that's because I am targeting list two, row one, cell one. And if I head back to my variable section, you can see list two, uh, row one and cell one is his John Barker had two. And we have here to record two here. I can go back over to the um, rundown and change that to two. And you can see here to record two is showing up. As always, there's lots more fixes and features in the release, so do check those out on the website and let me know if you have any issues.
All right, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.